The ongoing problems, of course, for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle just keep riding up and riding up. But of course, it's always their chums that seemingly make it worse. Fascinating to note, isn't it, that the silence from these alleged chums, like Ellen DeGeneres, the disgraced chat show host, Beyonce we mentioned, where's Sir Elton John? George Clooney and Mal, even though they went to that royal wedding, nowhere to be seen. Five years on, five years is a long time in showbiz. But now there's a bigger problem for Harry and Meghan, and this is all coming from the King. Absolutely. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you. Let's have a big wave today. Hope you're all keeping well, fine and dandy, whatever you're doing. Yes, we're supposed to be having baking weather this week. Doesn't quite look like it, though, does it so far? This is, I, I do find that you read the weather report or see it and you think, OK, I won't really need a coat. You come out and you think, hmm, think I might. <laughs> of course, we're always too trusting. That's the problem, isn't it? You start to read or hear or believe what you see. And then when you look out the window, you think, well, it's pouring down with rain here. How can I trust? you a little bit like these particular people now the bigger problem as we now know for harry and megan is their shall we say uh, mismanagement of their narrative their truth but it's now escalated all thanks to some might say a helpful hand from the king we're not talking of course about king charles iii in this instance but the journalist cbs news reporter gail king you see, Gail seemingly refuses to believe the narrative set out by the New York Police Department or indeed the mayor of New York, Eric Adams. In fact, the rest of the world. You see, apparently, according to Gail, she's really concerned by the fact that what they must have felt like in the moment. Well, let's spell it out to Gail, the journalist, who's just signed a mega deal with CNN to rake in even more cash to host a primetime show later this year. Just to be clear, Gail, they must have felt absolutely stupid because they've been called out and basically their narrative does not match up to the New York City Police Department. But as ever, supportive Gail, along with Oprah Winfrey, want to wish Harry and Meghan all the best. Of course they do. It's their fifth wedding anniversary. But as of their narrative for the New York car chase, two hours trapped in hell, well, even Gail can't spin this. But clearly, she's not quite given up the ghost yet to try and make sure she gets that one to win interview for her brand new primetime TV show on CNN with either Harry, Meghan or indeed both later in the year. And that's a true story of why she's not actually coming out on air or indeed in print, claiming she misbelieves them. As ever, it's always about the journalist and their quest for fame, power and more importantly, money. But even on this particular occasion, the king can't swing many to believe their narrative. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.